what Independence Day 2 with Will Smith was supposed to be about. When Independence Day was released in 1996, it was a spectacle on a whole new level for the sci-fi genre. A blockbuster to measure other blockbusters against. But despite its huge success, it took 20 years for a sequel to come out. And when it did, it was terrible. Fans of the original, like myself, are still licking our wounds over how bad 2016's Independence Day resurgence is in. In a new interview, one of the film's creators seems to feel the same way. I think Roland Emmerich directed a really interesting movie, but the studio asked us to make changes that didn't make any sense to me and ultimately we put out a movie that I'm not crazy about, co-writer and producer Dean Devlin told Yahoo in a new interview. Fox executives said, modern tentpole movies don't have comedy in them anymore, and I was like, have you ever seen a Marvel movie? Lack of humor in the movie is one thing. The lack of the main star is another. In the same interview, Devlin talked about how the original plan for the sequel, and the potential third film, too, was to focus on Will Smith's character Stephen Hiller. Of course, in the film that was released, Hiller is dead and his son is among the main characters. That was not the original Plus subscribe channel.